Well, it's really late. Pretty much forgot to make this video, and um, I just remembered, and it's about 2.30 in the morning. Yeah. I am currently packing because I'm going away this weekend. I am going to go LARPing, so that's kind of really exciting. For those who care about the specifics, I'm going to be an elf and a bard, actually, um, which I think I've said on this channel before. And yes, I've been packing a lot and I have no idea what I'm really bringing. I just like literally just shoved a ton of stuff into my knapsack. Um, and it's gonna be fun. Uh, I really, I could probably remember what happened in your videos, but I'm way too tired to even think about it. Um, yeah, but I do remember that the sixth theme is who would you invite to a tea party? I don't, I only get to pick 10 people. So annoying. Okay, fine. I want to have like 100 people at a tea party. That'd be awesome. Like a rave. But, um, I invite, of course, J.K. Rowling, Hank, John, Tamara Pierce, all five awesome knitters. So four awesome ones. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to ignore the rule of 10 because I want to invite a lot of people. I'm, I want a ton of people at my tea party. I want all the subscribers. All the subscribers at my tea party. Yeah. And I want um, Scott Westerfeld. And I want mm, other people. Who would I want in my. I want um, Debbie Stoller. She wrote, she wrote the Happy Hooker books. Because I think she's a really cool knitter and stuff. And while we're talking about knitting people, I'd want. Um, I think her name's. Kim Worker, who's the editor of Interweave Crochet and used to run the Crochet Me website. Oh, and, and, um, Jess and, oh, I forgot the other person name from Ravelry. Um, it's because they're really cool. And goodness, my tea party would be so much fun. <laughs> um, who else would I want? Mm, I think I would want... I probably want Hermione Granger there, but maybe not Ron and Harry because I feel like they might ruin my tea party. I feel like Hermione would take it seriously. And I would want Luna Lovegood there while we're doing characters. This is this is so many people at my tea party, I think I may actually stop now. And I want John Lennon. I want John Lennon at my tea party. Ugh, oh, could that be fun? And Johnny Depp. And Helena Bonham Carter. And I think I'm going to stop now. <laughs> um, but yeah, I need to go to sleep in a major way, as you can see, because I'm just rambling. And I'm not going to edit this video and deal with it. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just, ah, I'm just so tired. I'm actually really excited. I really am for, for this weekend. I just... I, it's 2.30 and I really have to go to sleep and I'm waking up early tomorrow because I'm getting a haircut before I go um, and stuff and ooh, this is cool I got this notebook thingy and I'm writing lyrics and stuff down in it and it looks all cool and old and I really like it so yay Barnes & Noble for that because that's where I got that and God, I, don't, I can't even think of anything else interesting. I don't think anything else interesting happened, except that technically I'm on spring break right now. Um, and it's going to be... And Passover starts Monday night. And I can't really think of much else. Okay. I'm so rambly. I'm so rambly. And I'm not even going to cut this out, so you're going to see all my little odd face gestures and, and things that I normally cut out. Like this... Also, I always normally cut out. Whenever I say, okay, I think that's all I have to say for today or whatever, I normally cut that out. And I say it, like, every single time. But now you're just going to hear me say it. And, yeah. Whatever. That felt very shamed often. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>
so time for bed. Um, I didn't do any knitting, as you can tell, because I had a lot of work this week. And I just don't have time time to do stuff anymore, which is really sucky and stuff. And I should really do some more knitting. I don't have any ideas for punishments for Michael. Yeah. But Michael did say in his video, I remember, that he thinks that he's the only one who's been punished. And I seem to distinctly remember a video in which I had to say in my pants at the end of it. And another video where I had to talk in third person. And I'm sure there were more videos where I was punished because I seem to not follow the rules often. Whatever rules are left. <laughs> which is basically like, put up a video. <laughs> That's basically the rules. Um, but yeah, so I think we should give Michael a good punishment, but I can't think of anything. But I want to know where all our vindictive subscribers are. Like, where are you guys commenting? Because I don't see any vindictive punishment ideas. No? Nobody wants to see Michael in pain? Or not in pain, but like, in, in awesomeness and embarrassment? No? Okay. Ooh, I have an idea for punishment. <laughs> what about, um... And sort of punishment, but like a knitting in public kind of thing. And maybe he has to make his entire video in public and maybe knit a bit in public. And, um, yeah, see, public humiliation. Okay, I'm going to sleep. I love you guys so much, and I will see Jenny on Monday. Bye.